The question is, will the live action version of Avatar The Last Airbender be any good? Yes, I feel like we actually need to hold out hope yet. We haven't seen that much, only a couple minutes, and they might do something different, but good. I don't like different, I just want good because the original is a masterpiece. So you change anything, it's a little bit of a question mark. The original creators, they jumped off. They said, we don't like your changing shit. I know. And they said, well, we're gonna be changing shit. And then the OG said, well, I don't wanna be here then. So they left, which isn't a good sign, but it doesn't mean this cannot still be a good show. Is it gonna be great? Is it gonna be better than the OG? No. Better is impossible. It's not happening, but it can still be good in its own right. Exactly. I just want it to be decent, but if it's bad, we are gonna tell you it's bad because the first teaser wasn't great. We've got to do fact of the day. Page number 233, fact number. Three. In 1937, Gillingham FC sold one of their players to Aston Villa for three second-hand turnstiles, two goalkeeper sweaters, three cans of weed killer, and an old typewriter. Now, when I was reading that out, I almost made a mistake because they said two goalkeeper's sweaters, and I almost stopped at two goalkeepers. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they just wanted the sweaters. Here's the thing, right? When you're lacking things, you can barter and trade to get what you need. And that's what they did. If you write the contract and someone signs mm -hmm. it, you're good to go. I suppose it's just like in Avatar The Last Airbender, someone needed to sell their cabbages. It wasn't always money. Maybe there was some bartering involved, but someone got their cabbages. Hey, no range on the comic head. Yes, so right now we're going to be reacting to the first full trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. I'm saying it might be good. She's saying she wants it to be good. I just hope they don't fuck it up. Let's get to this trailer anyway. Let's go. The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. And the world might never recover. The world needs the Avatar. It needs you, Aang. Those wrongs. The Fire Nation has destroyed everything in their path. If the world is gonna have any chance, it's gonna need Aang. Right. There goes the savior of the world. I buy it. Yeah. I buy something. Yeah. I chased down every hint of the Avatar. It's my destiny. I'm not someone who can stop the Fire Nation. I don't want the responsibility. You don't have to do this alone. You have me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. What more do you need? A moment. Oh, okay. Oh. It needs you. Remember what it is we're really fighting for. The ones we love. I'm the Avatar, and I'm gonna save the world. With my friends. Boomy. That would be me, yeah. Oh, Jet? Okay. Oh, give me a chill. You know, I think I was staring so intently my mm -hmm. eyes started watering. It just there are gave no tears. that release because of the music, right? There were right? no tears, but like, they're seconds away from falling this down. This was the so much better than the teaser trailer they put out a couple months ago. Maybe even more, but this is different class. This felt like I'd just actually watched the anime to some degree. Yeah, these yeah. shots. I cannot tell you the feeling in my chest when I heard her say Ang and not arm. This is actually the way everyone wanted it to be way back when. Mm -hmm. And some of these shots, the moves, the martial arts they're actually using. One thing about that previous, we will not talk about <laughs> the cry, film. The cry coming out, the cry coming out. <laughs> and that's what's great about this, because we came in both a little bit trepidatious, wanting it to be good. And after this trailer, we're actually thinking, 
Maybe your minds have been changed. As long as they do the CGI right and it does look pretty good, I'm gonna be happy. Some of the background didn't look 100% done. I think there needs to be some work on those as of yet. The actual bending style, the look of it, that was probably close to nine or 10 out of 10. It looks really grounded where it needs to be with the way that they're setting up the environments and the clothing. When you add in the good visual effects, it brings it up a level. I think the acting is gonna be the big, big question mark because there are so many kids on the cast which can really pull it down, but in this, I would say, Sokka, I'm buying, Katara, I'm buying, Aang, I'm buying, Zuko, a little bit of a question mark. I'm not sure it was 100% there. It gave me a uh, budget version. I don't know, maybe it's the scar. It's always tough to do that in live action because it's never gonna look as good as in the animation. Nevertheless, when you look at those numbers, mm. I am buying what they're selling. Yeah. Give me my cabbages. And is Cabbage Man gonna actually have a big role in the series? Are they gonna expand Cabbage Man's role? in this live action version. I think they have to. They have he to. became such a large meme mm -hmm. that then in Korra they had to address it and give him a statue. I feel like it's one of those things they need to lean in to the cabbage. Sometimes the quirkiness, people shy away from it. Just go balls to the wall with it. <laughs> go crazy with that stuff and actual fans will go wild. It does seem like they are going through most of season one, but they are adding stuff from the future seasons as well. And that's the thing I didn't love. We're getting shots of Fire Lord Ozai. There seems to be shots of- Azula. Bit of a crazy lass herself. And I don't want that in my Avatar season one because the idea of the show is Zuko is the villain for season one. Azula is the villain for season two. And then you got the big boy, Fire Lord himself coming through, being the henchman in season three. I don't think it actually helps the story by intertwining them from the start. Maybe you could add Azula in the final episode of season one and try and blend it like that, but I don't want to be seeing Azula's backstory in season one. That's what they did so well with the animated series. They only gave us maybe one or two face shots of Azula in season one. We didn't know anything about her. And I kind of like having that mystery because for people who don't know the animated series, having that mystery there to find out more about her and how villainous she is in season two, it's a really big boy move, mm. story-wise. And I feel like if you change that about too much, you're gonna water down the impact of seeing how wild she is compared to Zuko. Yeah, Zuko seems very reasonable. And I think that was the difference of Zuko being a redeemable character and actually having been wronged himself and Azula just being a bit messed up, having to deal with the circumstances of being the princess of the Fire Nation. And maybe that didn't really suit her very well and her disposition because she was always a little bit... Mm. There does seem to be a moment in this where they might be going to the spirit realm as well because that beast that doesn't have eyes, I think that's the beast in the village where he's going through all the bamboo. Remember that episode where oh. Aang goes to the spirit realm for the yes. first time? I think it's that one. I think you've just pulled that out of the hat. Because the colouring of the shot it's looks completely out. different. You, you're a bit of a banger there. I pay you attention. You just pulled it so quickly. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that was. I thought ah. maybe it was a, a gargoyle of some right, sort. Right, right, right. But no, you're right. It's yeah, a spirit. it's a panda spirit that's a panda and then turns into a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Look at that guy. People, that people think we don't know this stuff. We know this stuff. We've watched all this stuff. We've watched this season many times. We've watched season one probably the most out of any of the three seasons. Oh, yeah. It's just too good. The first three or four episodes, it takes a bit to get into it. It can be a bit too childish. But after that, it's just gangbusters all the way. Oh, that's one thing. I am really enjoying about this they have aged them appropriately hmm. I like them being kids because part of the intensity of this story is that Aang is meant to be 11 or 12 they are kids and the world is put on their shoulders that moment where Aang is saying I don't want it to be my responsibility why does it have to be me that is such a pivotal moment in his story yeah. and then also gotta say this love seeing me some blue spirit Uncle Ira looking a bit questionable but blue spirit looking good and I think there's a chance that I'm gonna love this show now yeah. I didn't think that before, but... I'm so glad. I think maybe, just maybe, they might make something good. It doesn't have to be as good as the original. It just has to be good. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn the channel down there if you didn't, if you didn't. Toff, gonna come after. She not in this, but maybe they're just gonna stick her in this as well. Wouldn't make sense for the story, but you never know what type of silly shit they might do, and then we'll say, oh no, you've ruined it. But, Toff, you don't want that. Do they want that? No. No. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been the original comment. I've been on She's been on Sensei. You have been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 2,000 days now. And we aren't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content. Swash tag. Never not here. Side goes. Also bring the Pukwas. Pukwas means nonsense. Impa and Jumpy. We also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality. Shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow for more of the same, slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh. <laughs>
Ha 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 ha!